Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Eden Star Early Access Coverage. This is episode 28, day 4. Today, we're, we're gathering materials to round out our portable arsenal, I guess would be the best way to put it. I want a Gauss Cannon, because they're fantastic for dealing with hives and uh, some of the tougher targets. It, it, it has a much higher damage output if you can kind of stand still and shoot at something without having to worry too much about aim. After we get that, it's basically a, a function of updating and upgrading our RMD. So we can get the faster mining, the better reach, the better regeneration, the, the regeneration period. So that we can look after our base, we can gather resources faster. And then we kind of upgrade as we go. We figure out uh, what's available and we kind of prioritize and grab materials that we need and carry on. Nothing particularly complicated. It's similar to what we were doing in the last playthrough. Only this time the hives are a little bit better guarded. And, uh... And we've got more build options and other things to do after we got all this stuff uh, squared away. Oh, look at that. Look what they did to that poor bird. Can you believe that? They just tag-teamed him. He was just having a run. He was out for his morning run. And and they just blapped all over him. That's not what I wanted. There we go. <laughs> Bunch of jerks. He dead? No, he's... Oh, yeah, he's dead. He just kind of burst into flames. He dead. I know I'm hitting him. And I don't want to waste a ton of ammunition on these guys if I can kind of kill them. And there we go. And now... The moment we've all been waiting for. I don't know if we're going to get any Teslinium out of this hive, to be completely honest. Wow, we're just cruising through the ammunition. This is why we want the Gauss Cannon. <laughs> Just the sheer volume of ammunition you go through to destroy a hive. Oh, look at that. We're in luck. Uh, we're gonna, there we go, and gather quickly, please, before other things pop up around us and ruin our lives. One Teslinium. One Teslinium. <laughs> That's pretty normal for hives. I don't... Oh, look at this guy. Your mother is dead. That... That's not an invitation for you to keep spitting up all over the place. I'm not going to feed you. I'm, I'm not even going to hang around and <laughs> let you try to feed yourself. What was that though? Just, I, I just got the warning indicator that said bad guys were nearby. Oh, there he is down there. Look at that sneaky little bugger. Is there a hive down there? No, there's not. There's not a beacon. He's just way down there. Look at that. Waiting to be a problem. We, d we don't need to worry about that. We need to gather some materials. Now, ceramic is the next major thing that we need to get the Gauss Cannon upgrade, and it's it actually needs a fair amount. So we're going to be looking for that mostly, but since we're here and we know we're going to need the colored ores, there's no reason to not grab the tunnel, and then we'll move on. We'll see if we... Well, we, we'll definitely find some ceramic, and we'll be able to gather all we need and then some. And then I think we might as well head back to base, make the Gauss Cannon upgrade... And then uh, make sure that we've got enough resources for ammunition for it, and then we'll carry on from there. We'll figure out what we need. Alright, so that was kind of crazy. I used up almost that entire day gathering from one ceramic uh, node, I guess. It's a very large deposit of ceramic, and I'm hopeful now that we have enough of the goodies. Gauss cannon to make... Oh, okay, we have to choose. That was almost terrifying. We have enough ceruleum. We, we found a lot of ceruleum, so we have that. We can make the Gauss cannon 
access by the equipment menu. Fair enough. And, uh, oops. We'll make some ammunition for it as well. Consumables, flechette block. Ooh, okay, good. We have, uh, how many do I, what the? 20 ironite required and then choose from cerulean or tenel. Let's create one. How many have we got now? Okay, that makes 300. That was a little bit nerve-wracking there for a second, trying to figure out how much ironite I was going to need to make the maximum. And I think the stack maximum is 900. That's one of the benefits of the, the uh, Gauss Cannon, is you can carry so much ammunition compared to the assault rifle or the pistol that it makes a lot of sense to uh, make it and use it whenever you need uh, a lot of firepower, like, for example, destroying hives. Now here, I want to uh, store some of this stuff. We have uh, one extra teslinium and we're going to store it. And that's a very good thing to do with teslinium. We have uh, fiber and we're going to max, convert, continue. Uh, what else? We've got um, protonite. I, I don't want to get in the habit of carrying all this stuff around because then if I die, I lose it. And that's a bad, bad thing. So we're going to... Um, store some of the some of the ones that are a little bit harder to get our hands on like the cerulean and the tunnel we can get lots of ceramic it takes a while but it's not hard to find and it's not hard to extract uh, bridgmanite is the same thing it doesn't matter if we lose that ironite uh, I think is going to go in the same category as uh, tunnel and cerulean just because it's again it's one of those things it's smaller deposits and they're spread out more, so we, we get less whenever we decide that we need uh, uh, something to craft whatever we're making. So we're going to do that. Store. So that leaves us, we're carrying Bridgmanite, Ceramic, Protonite. Uh, again, because it comes from trees, we'll actually store that. Because it's trees are, are a lot easier to find now. But they take a, a while to harvest, and you don't get much out of each tree. So we'll uh, store that. We're going to make... A consumables rifle disruptor cell how much uh, <laughs> such a yutz uh, actually we were going to be using the iron knight when we had it next for uh, another round of flechette ammo anyways so we're going to jump up here in the back we've got iron knight there and there's another one over here somewhere we're going to grab that we're going to grab the cerulean if we have time and then we're going to hop on down here we're going to get ready for the night defense we got the gauss cannon that's the big thing we've got ammunition for it so it's a, a major step forward in terms of what we can accomplish and how and now we just have to carry on with the upgrades and the gathering and the surviving and uh, life should be pretty good All right, we're here with 17 seconds to spare. We need consumables, we need rifle disruptor cells, we need two uh, made with ceruleum. Uh, create, that gives us one stack. Can we make, how many more can we make? Two more, we're gonna create. Then we're gonna go like that and max store. We're gonna start getting shot here any second now. Max store Q. Thank you, turrets. Backing away from the exploding Ica. Now, someone pointed out to me, and it was one of those things that is just so absolutely obvious that you would think everyone would think of it all at the exact same time, but it eluded me, and that is if the base is taking damage from exploding Ica, instead of shooting them, grab them and throw them away from the base. And that was, it was one of those, just, it's such an elegant solution. Uh, it's not as fun as shooting at, at them uh, when they're that far away because you can't reach them, but it's still a damn good idea. If they're close enough that their, ex their death explosion is damaging your base, they're close enough that you can grab them fairly easily with the Mata tool or the RMD uh, grabber. <laughs> that, uh, as I call it sometimes, that you, you can deal with it properly. Now these two guys over here, they've seen what happened to their friends. They're just kind of like... We just got to hang out here for four minutes and then we're allowed to leave, so <laughs> let's do that. And because they don't actually drop anything uh, yet, I, I've heard a rumor, a little birdie, suggested that there might be certain monsters... Oh, look, there's war going on over there. 
there might be certain or all monsters potentially that will drop materials upon death, making their uh, destruction a little bit more rewarding. Now, I don't know what is running away from those Ica over there, or splinter mites, or whatever they were. I think they were Ica, but it was putting up quite a chase. Uh, and it wasn't us that was getting shot at, so that was kind of cool. Whatever it was, thank you. We will harvest your remains tomorrow and probably have it for lunch, because it looked like you got pretty cooked. Three minutes remain in the night time for day four. So we've got the, the Gauss Cannon. We've got uh, close to enough materials to make some more ammunition. I would like to be carrying around at least one stack of Gauss ammunition at all times. And then we can start looking in a little more detail at the upgrades for the, the RMD tool, like I said. Faster mining, longer reach, things like that. Once we're squared away for all that stuff, then it's time to actually start looking at heading out to the marsh and gathering uh, up some things there. There are some new resources. I mentioned this in uh, previous episodes. New resources for laser type things. You have to get the material over there to make uh, laser based. It's just war over there. <laughs> It's just a waging war. Uh, you get the, the new resources, you can build things like laser walls and stuff like that. That would be kind of interesting to have access to for the expansion for our outpost. And then we'll spend a little time making the outpost look kind of snazzy. We'll get some more uh, power generators in place. Those are brand new. We previously only had the Eden kit as our source of power, but we'll be able to make uh, dedicated power generators. I think there's a dedicated armory on the way, which I think will be storage for uh, ammunition and weapons and turrets, stuff like that. So it's not going to be just an Eden kit with a base built around it. It's going to be a number of different uh, modules that you can place that will do different things and they'll be all connected together somehow so that they all function happily together and basically what that means is they'll all be connected to your power source and you'll have to make sure you can power them all and then you'll be able to do uh, more things from your base than we can currently do now so I think that's fantastic I'm looking forward to it we'll see what we can do with this specific version of the game when we get there but for now we're just kind of we're starting from the beginning and we're getting the things that we need to move forward and this is just I don't even know what they're shooting at and there's a part of me that wants to run out there and find out but then I realize I won't have any shields by the time I get there and I will probably get wrecked so <laughs> we're gonna curb our enthusiasm and then tomorrow we'll be back at the resource gathering we'll come up with a plan and we'll go and we'll gather some resources actually since there's nothing going on let's uh, take a look at what we really need for regeneration for example we need fiber uh, ceruleum, protonite, and our choice of ironite or tenel for the regeneration module. Uh, consumables is just ammunition, so we're going to need some more uh, ironite uh, and ceruleum and tenel. We have obviously some in the Eden kit. We have enough ironite, I think, in the Eden kit, or pretty close to it already. It's just the ceruleum and the tenel, so we can fill that out. Uh, weapons, consumables, tool modules, weapon components. Yeah, there's we, there's nothing we can make in the weapons category anymore. We've already done it. Upgrade. Oh, look, here we go. We've got all of the kinetic force, materialized, gauss cannon, uh, equip. Very important that we equip it. We almost didn't equip our gauss cannon. That would have been a damn shame. Secondary modules is the energy harness. I believe a remote matter manipulation node. Yeah, that's just gathering, I think. And this is the upgrades that we can get for it. Things like uh, act like micro drills, allowing mining to be twice as fast. So we can speed up the mining. We can do all the things. Energy harness for safety reasons. The fauna is not considered a viable target. Uh, tertiary modules. None yet. And we have our trusty baton if we wanted to worry about meleeing. I don't think we do. If it ever came down to it, we'd be grabbing things and throwing them, not slapping them around with a baton. So there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, that's the bottom line. We're into day five. If you want to be notified when we do all of this stuff in day five, that video will be up in probably two or three days. You can subscribe to my channel or follow me on social media. Links for social media, always in the information box below the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave your comments and feedback and take care.